Some of you may know this already, but my mum died of breast cancer. So that's why I want to do anything I can to make sure that more women find it early. And that means telling all of you about this, breast screening. Now, when I first got my invitation to go for a breast screening, I didn't really know what it was all about. And maybe you're feeling that way as well. So that is why I am going to take you around the breast screening unit and show you what it's all about. Come with me. Hello, I'm looking for Mary. That's me. Hi there, so how are you? Very nice to see you. You too. I brought my form and everything. Now, Lovely. Mary is going to show me around this whole unit here, aren't you? I certainly am. And explain what goes on. And you're going to do mass screening as well, aren't you? Yes, lucky me. So, Mary, I want to, a serious question. Why do you think it's really important that women come along and get their breast screened? It's important to come for breast screening because when we do the mammogram, we're picking up very, very small cancers, which may you may not feel or see until it may be much later. And the earlier we pick them up, the less invasive the treatment could be and the better the outcome. And it could save a life. It could save your life, definitely. When, when are you first asked to come along then? We start inviting women within three years of their 50th birthday. So you could be 50, you could be 53, depending on when we screen your practice. And we'll continue inviting you every three years until you're 70. So it's very important that you take this opportunity. And if the times don't, change, don't suit you, you can change them. Just make another appointment. Right. Let's do it. Let's go then. Right, I'll take you through and we'll get you changed first of all. What yeah. I need you to do is take your top off, take your brow off, your top back on. All oh, right, so I don't walk through there naked. Not today, we don't. That's very good. And then I'll take you straight through to the x-ray room. Brilliant, thank you. Now, this looks quite a machine, quite a piece of equipment here. You can understand why women, if they walk down and saw that, think, oh, what's that going to do? And they get a wee bit nervous about it. So tell me, explain to me exactly what happens now. Well, as you can see, this is the x-ray machine, very yeah. state-of-the-art, very the most modern equipment. Is it? Um, yes. Only the best for Only Scottish best. women, of course, yes. Yeah. So what happens then now? Well, what happens is your breast will be placed in the machine and held firmly in place with this part of the x-ray okay, machine. Okay, how does okay. that work? So This works, I'll just show you this coming down uh -huh. on my hand. Ah, right. And then it releases mm -hmm. as soon as I take the x-ray. So you're not clamped in it. Why does that come down and flatten like that then? It has to hold the breast in place because we obviously don't want it to move during the x-ray. Uh -huh. But it also spreads the tissue out, separates it so we can see what's going on inside the breast a wee bit So you've got a much clearer, a much picture. clearer picture. It releases as soon as the x-ray is taken. So as soon as the x-ray is taken, it's off. So oh. it's literally seconds that That's your right. breast is in there, right? Okay. And is it only ever women that do the tests of the yes, breast Yes, it's only females, female staff. If you want me to stop at any time, just mm -hmm. say so. Mm -hmm. Right, so what happens now? Well, I'll go around to the computer and put in some details. And when I'm doing that, you take your top off and we'll get going, will we? Yes, okay, here goes. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, you don't get to see this bit. No, no, look away. Okay, Mary, let's do it. Okay, Elaine, right. Now I'm just going to position your breast onto the machine. Okay. If you can turn your head and look and round. Keep it that way. Look round this way, that's perfect. Just keep your shoulder leaning over here, that's mm -hmm. lovely. And keep looking that way. Yeah. Now, does it hurt? It can be a wee bit tight, but it shouldn't be painful. See, Shane, I've had this done before, but you still get nervous, don't <laughs> you? You do, don't you? <laughs> and a wee bit of compression on your breast. OK. Now, that's as bad as it gets. I'll just go and take the x-ray. OK. Keep it very, very still for me. Fine, nice and still now. And that's it all done. Is that it? That's it taken. See, easy. <gasps> No bother. I'll just change the position of the machine now and we'll go on and do the other films, okay? okay? Brilliant. It's a skish. <laughs> right, Mary, that's me. I wasn't too bad, actually. All sorted. Good, good. Now, what are you looking for? What are you hoping to find? We're hoping to find nothing. Most of the time, everything's perfectly normal. Occasionally, we find big lumps or small lumps. Sometimes, we find something that we have no way of telling if it could harm you in the future. Yeah, what happens now, then, for me? You will receive your results in about three weeks. I'll give you this wee leaflet, and that mm -hmm. tells you about all the late types of letter you can receive. Okay? Right. So, keep an eye on your breasts. I will, I promise. And I'll give you that leaflet, and it may help you. That's an excellent leaflet, but you must be sick looking at her. <laughs> Don't say a word. Not at all. Don't say a word. Thanks, Mary. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 
Well, there you are, girls. That's what happens when you go for breast screening. I choose to do this because it could save my life. But remember, we've got to check between screenings as well. So please, don't get scared. Get screened.